What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazzy Fitness. So, the latest news in the industry today is that it looks like George Farah is coming back into elite coaching big time. After he had blessing make his amazing transformation and secure two provinces, Justin Rodriguez has decided to work with George for the future competitions. His journey with AJ Sims ends here. But I'm glad to see that Justin has ended this on good terms and he gave props to AJ for being one of the best in the business. Max Charles just revealed that he worked with George for just one week after Indie Pro. And we all saw the results at New York Pro pre-judging. Max looked his best ever and had a great stage presence. If he hadn't faded for the night show, I think he could have been a clear second place. George Farah has coached some of the best athletes of all time. Namely, Dexter Jackson, Kai Green and Big Ramy as well. I believe Kai won his last contest, the Arnold Classic 2016, under George's guidance. There was a time in Dexter's career when his placing started to decline, especially after 2011 Olympia. And that was a time when George Farah took over Dexter's diet and got him back in the game. Four years later, Dexter gave Phil Heath a run for his money in 2015. Without a doubt, George is one of the best in the business. And I won't be surprised if more IFBB pros contact him after Blessing's domination at Indy and New York. Brent Chen has finally decided to compete in Vancouver Pro. He is 8 weeks out. The classic physique star made a big impact in the division when he stepped on stage in 2019 and cracked top 5 at his Olympia debut. With all the new talent that has emerged in classic lately, Branch is still one of the most aesthetic physiques in this division. Hopefully, he can get the visa issues resolved on time and we get to see him on Olympia stage. Logan Franklin is looking great at this point. The best he has ever looked at any point during his career. He will be standing against some new talent. Guys that he has never went up against before and looking at how Classic has progressed since 2020 because that was the last time Logan stepped on Mr. Olympia stage, it is gonna be a real test for him. He has the mindset that one day he will be Mr. Olympia. Let's see how many places he can improve this year and for the record, he was 9th in 2020. Looking at James Hollingshead's recent physique updates, we can already feel that something special is cooking for Arnold Classic UK. He looks like a cartoon character and the fact that Arnold UK is in September and he already looks so far ahead of the schedule and that puts him in a very good position to nail it 100%. That is Ian 8 weeks out of his next show weighing 279 pounds and that is without any pump. Ian is confident 
that his weak points, especially cards and back, have come up. He was seventh at the Olympia last year. Has he done enough to crack top five at the Olympia this year? Because that was the reason of skipping Arnold Classic. I would have to say it is gonna be real hard to get into the top five because those guys are different breed. Hassan Mustafa just keeps getting better every time he posts a physique update. And the fact that this is six weeks out, it's super impressive. Imagine this. Hassan shredded like Nick Walker on stage. That is gonna be a sight. If we go down in bodybuilding history, there are guys who had unlimited potential, but they never peaked 100% throughout their career. Let me mention a name here, Lionel Bayeki. Still hopeful that Hassan shocks us all at Orlando Pro. Ending this video with Keon Pearson who is leaving no stones unturned to bring his best look to date. This is 205 pounds, so already 7 pounds below the max weight allowed. Meaning, he isn't chasing a specific look, he just wants to be ripped. 11 weeks to go, look at the lower back and relaxed. Plus, the shoulder to waist ratio is insane. Let's hope he nails it 100% this time. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.